Now, the International Court of Justice has delivered the much-anticipated ruling in the case of genocide that has been brought against Israel by South Africa for what it is doing on the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. And the court has now ruled that Israel must prevent genocidal acts on the Palestinians in the besieged Gaza Strip. However, the United Nations top court stopped short of ordering for an immediate ceasefire. Instead, it is said that Israel must in fact take measures to improve the humanitarian situation for the Palestinians. It is further said that Israel must report to the court within a month on the steps that it has taken to ensure compliance. It has also taken note of several Israeli official statements that reflected a genocidal intent of what Israel intends to do on the Palestinians in Gaza. The court is also of the view that Israel must take measures within its power to prevent and punish the direct and public incitement to commit genocide in relation to the members of the Palestinian group in the Gaza Strip. Front of the Peace Palace in The Hague, where today the International Court of Justice ruled on the provisional measures for the case of genocide brought by South Africa against Israel. The crowd cheered for um, when Judge Donoghue said that the court has jurisdiction on the case and so also that there is a plausible risk of genocide happening in Gaza against Palestinians. South Africa has hailed the judgment as a decisive victory for international law, with President Cyril Ramaphosa expressing hope that this could actually lead to a ceasefire. He's also added that after years of apartheid and oppression, the Palestinian people's cries for justice have now been heard by an eminent organ of the United Nations. Now, Pretoria has long been a very vocal supporter of the Palestinian cause and also the cause of a Palestinian state. We expect Israel as a self-proclaimed democracy and a state that respects the rule of law to abide by the measures handed down by the International Court of Justice. Today, Israel stands before the international community, its crimes against the Palestinians laid bare. While well, Israel has slammed the International Court's ruling with the Israeli beleaguered Prime Minister Netanyahu calling the genocide charges for what the Israeli army is at this moment doing in the Gaza Strip is outrageous. It's further said that Israel will continue to do what is needed to defend itself. Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. The vile attempt to deny Israel this fundamental right is blatant discrimination against the Jewish state, and it was justly rejected. The charge of genocide leveled against Israel is not only false, it's outrageous. The Hamas in Palestine have also welcomed the ruling. The ICJ's ruling is binding on all parties, but the global court has no mechanism to enforce its ruling. Now, the ongoing war has claimed the lives of at least 28,000 lives. Now, remember, at least 1,200 Israelis were killed in the attack that took place on the 7th of October. And so far, in the Israeli offensive, more than 26,000 Palestinians have been killed and over 60,000 Palestinians have been grievously injured, maimed or mutilated in this Israeli offensive that has now dragged on for well over 100 days. And our correspondent, Calden Ongmo, has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report from Johannesburg in South Africa. Listen in. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has welcomed ICJ's order and said the ruling is a victory for international law, for human rights and above all for justice. He said Israel as a self-proclaimed democracy and a state that respects the rule of law to abide by the measures handed down by the ICJ. He says this ruling marks an important first step in the quest to secure justice for the people of Gaza. On the other hand, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said Israel's commitment to international law is unwavering and it will continue to defend its country and its people. He said the charge of genocide leveled against Israel is not only false, but it's outrageous and decent people everywhere should reject it. 
the ICJ granted six of the nine provisional measures that South Africa sought against Israel and dismissed Israel's claims that South Africa didn't have standing to bring this case. This is Carlton Olmo from Johannesburg, South Africa for We On World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.